Welcome back to Character Select, back for more Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, and I have learned a couple of things about this game since the last time that uh, I played it. There's no karma system in this game specifically. However, there is a reputation mechanic, which is interesting. The reputation mechanic is specifically... If you do more creepy ghost stuff, if you sneak through bases and kill people, uh, they're more likely to be afraid of you, or well, if you do more dishonorable stuff. The Mongols are more likely to be afraid of you when you do show up. If you're honorable and call them out and do like samurai stuff and straight up attack them, they'll be more likely to attack you in full force. So being dishonorable has benefits. Which is kind of fucked up when you think about it. Poop. Oh, that's bear. You right there, buddy? Has been a little bit since I played, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Predator. Thanks for killing that bear for me, by the way. It was very helpful. All right, where am I going? Well, I'm almost here, so I might as well liberate this place, right? I forgot how to hide. Nope. There we go. You want some too? How about you? I'm glad we had this talk. Supplies, motherfucker. <laughs> that guy's got swords. I just need to do that, actually. <laughs> Did I get good since the last time that I played? Not likely. Oh god. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop that, please. Okay, well, I guess I answered that question, huh? Mm. No! The hubris. The hubris. Come and fight! Nope. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Down you go. Oh. 
Wind stance is effective against spearmen. Okay, yeah, I got that. No, oh, fuck. I don't. Oh, you bastard. Oh, they're so slow, though. Why don't I remember how to do things? There we go. Fuck you. Just couldn't remember how to use kunai. Oh shit. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Nope. And we're done. Okay. Ta-da! Oh. I forgot that I was wearing this armor. Or this outfit, I guess, technically. Where are you leading me, bug? Hey, horses. What are you guys up to? Iron Butterfly. Oh, I see. Seems like a weird thing to have at the back of your stalls, not gonna lie. Ooh, Mongol artifacts, eh? Mongolian horses are often armored as much as the Mongol warriors themselves. Their preferred breeds are relatively small, but very hardy, capable of surviving in extreme conditions. Almost every Mongolian warrior has more than one horse, so they can swap fresh mounts as the horse is tired. I believe that the Mongols also had a thing. I gotta check if I did something. I did not. Hey, now you can see me on the actual recording. Yay! Um... The Mongols also lived on the steppes, which, for anybody that doesn't know what the steppes are, S-T-E-P-P-E-S, -P -P -E the steppes are vast tundra. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. There's very few trees. Um, and it just goes forever. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the land that they grew up in. But they needed horses to get around, basically. Like, you look up modern-day Mongolia, you look up the capital, which is Ulaanbaatar. And then you go outside Ulaanbaatar and look at, like, Google Maps. And it's... You don't have to go far before suddenly you're in the wilderness. Where there's no protection. It's just windswept plains for days. It's very pretty. Black powder bomb. Sticky bomb. Linen. Oh, I want that. Kunai. Supplies. Iron. More supplies. All right, did I clear this place? Wrong button. I did. All right. Cool. Okay, so we need to. There are monks staying at the inn here. Perhaps they need a samurai's help. A Kenji tail. Lost at sea. Also, thank you for everybody in the comments that said that you're interested in the quote unquote boring stuff in which you're just kind of running around. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I also really like it. And I gotta do it one way or the other, so. That's Lady Masako. 
Hmm. I can't do that. Teddy Ori's rest, no. Dutchy Estate. There is that fox den. Let's do that so we can get another minor charm. Also, believe it or not, there is actually a purpose to blowing the flute. I had to ask, and Tyler told me. The purpose for blowing the flute is to change the weather. Which is cool. I think the the song that we have equipped right now, um, accessories, the sun's warm embrace, yeah. So you can get lament of the storm, which makes it stormy, shadows in the fog, which makes it foggy, and chorus of raindrops, which makes it rain without. Like, I did not know that. That's awesome. I like that there's so many small personal touches to this that all feel like they can... They have some mystic quality to it without actually being mystical. I'm coming, Foxy. Jesus, calm down. Is that it? And is it? Oh, no, the shrine. Now you stay there. Stay there, Foxy. God fucking damn it. The fox has left. You wouldn't think it'd be that big a deal about petting the fox, but my god, it is. Seven more fox dens. Okay. Moderate increase to health, all damage, ghost weapons deal more damage, moderately reduces damage when I'm hurt. I'm going to go with the moderate increase to health. That seems the most useful. Is there anything around here? There is. What are you? Let's see what that is. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of spirituality in this game, which is an odd thing to say, kind of. But it's like you trust in the spirits, or the kami, as I suppose they would be called, and they will uh, they'll guide you, protect you, assist you when you need helping. It's pretty cool. Like, Babu. Just a cart? Sure is. Hmm. What is going on here? Ooh, it's a warrior shrine. Pillar of Honor. What else? Yoink. Yasha's Embers. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, bold. But it's still not pretty white, so we'll stick with it. I want to know what that is. It's like a lighthouse. It's like a pagoda lighthouse. Okay. I mean, we could go here. Sensei Ishikawa. So, to, for us to continue this, the main story, we have to do the tale of Ryuzo, which is the Straw Hat, the Straw Hat mercenaries. But there's a lot of other stuff that we could do. What is this? Many believe the Kashine Forest is haunted. Lately, people have been going into the woods and not coming out. I need to know 
Why? Can already peak. I can't do this one because I need another tool. So maybe what I should do is continue the story until I get that tool because clearly it's going to be part of part of what's going on. Linen, linen, leather. All right, let's go to, there's no upgrades available, so we don't need to go there. So let's go to the mall. Don't know, don't know. Komoda, Komoda town. All right, so set the guiding wind, pop over here. This is definitely one of those games that you can play for literally days. I never feel like you found something, found everything. I wonder if it continues the Sucker Punch way of doing things that they had in Infamous, which is you should get most things, but getting everything is not necessary. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. God damn it. Put that away, sir. Thank you. Um... I think I mentioned it in a previous video, in Infamous 1 and 2, you get blast shards to increase your energy batteries so you can shoot more without having to recharge, or shoot longer without having to recharge. Um, but you max out on battery cores about, once you've gotten about two-thirds of the shards. So, I wonder if they did that here, too. So there's more fox shrines than you need, basically. Hey, flower. A fleur. Come here and fight! Nope. You want some? Ooh. Hold on, I gotta get the blood off my sword. The rest of me? Eh. thing I will admit is my is my guilty pleasure is the uh, the romanticization romanticization romanticizing the romanticizing I can words yeah of history like history is never simple easy and 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 straightforward um like, you can say World War II was about, you know, the good guys versus the bad guys. It was all the allies versus the Nazis. And no, it's a lot more complicated than that. But I do love... Well, once you're far enough removed from, from the history, I do love the stories that do that. Like, that portray knights as... as honorable chivalrous and and stuff like that and samurai is protecting the weak and so, stories like this i do love that romantic romanticizing but i also feel like it should serve as a jumping off point to learn the real as opposed to taking it as truth because history is complicated stay away my lord why the spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest why are you spouting nonsense? It's true. This was once a place of refuge. Now all who enter the forest are never seen again. We're at war. People go missing. But even the Mongols fear this place. 
Wait until nightfall, my lord. That's when death stalks the forest. But it is night. <laughs> it bugged. After tonight, you won't need to spin tales of murderous spirits. I pray you are right, my lord. The sea. Search for spirits in the forest. Yeah, Yagata Forest. It's a fox. We'll be back for you, fox. Don't worry. Someone lived here, abandoned. Yagatha Forest has stood long before me and will stand long after I'm gone. The legend says that every tree is the spirit of a samurai who fell protecting the island. Are these the whispers I hear? Are they crying out in pain, begging for us to repay them for their sacrifice? Or are they trying to warn us of something and protect us even now? Light lanterns, repair shrine, make an offering to the kami, ignore the voices, ignore the voices, ignore the voices. Caretaker heard strange noises at night. Then he went missing. I've grown weary. Night after night, I hear their voices. Sometimes the whispers seem to come on the winds from afar and barely reach my ears before they fade away. Other times they assault me and wake me from my dreams as my heart pounds and every breath feels like a heavy weight on my chest. Tonight I'll stay awake. I'll follow the whispers. I'll find out what they wish to tell me. All right. Cool. Would you shut up for half a second? Jesus. Friend Fox. Wrong button. Wrong button. Put that away. Q. How do I? Wrong button. That's jump. That's strike. Put that away. Q. Nope. God damn it, I keep wasting kunai. All right, I gotta look it up. It's been too long. Focused hearing. That's what it is. I have gotten completely turned around. Need to go this way, right? Nope. Still turn around this way. Towards the center. I found the fox den. I guess you can find it without following the fox. Did you stick around? No, you didn't fuck it. Stupid. Decapitated, as if the killer were imitating tales of samurai vengeance. There was someone else here. Maybe they got away.
I don't know about you, but I'm not really a fan of ghost stories. I said it in uh, Sunless Skies in that playthrough. Looks like he was trying to get away from someone. I am a skeptic when it comes to ghosts, so I'm not terribly worried about them, but... But... Don't like the, I don't like spooky stuff. Spooky stuff is just... Unpleasant. This would be so much easier if I could fucking see. Not this way. Turn it this way, and now we're going the right way. Okay. Guess I could follow this pathway, huh? Something over here. Nothing helpful, but okay. Just some bamboo. Get that Come bamboo. On. Oh, fair. Someone must be there. Oh, there we go. Impeccable sense of direction, Dave. This was recent. The killer must be close. Someone ran this way. Was staged to scare people away. Like Vlad the Impaler shit? Do you know there's a popular theory that Vlad the Impaler didn't actually impale bodies? But just like staged it so that it looked like they he did? should give the man by the road a new tale to tell. I think that last guy was trying to say something before I fucking tore his throat out with a sword. Oh, well. Silk. Clearly a Nazi. I'm glad I killed him. Uh, moving on. Hey, the fog is lifted. Hooray! Amanek. Amanek. Snap, crackle, pop, those are your joints. Get me that babu. Let's 
Turns out it was just bandits acting like douchebags. You survived the night. And you have a new tale to tell. Murderous bandits once made the sacred forest their home. But the spirits of the samurai who protect these woods <laughs> were angered. The last warrior of Clan Sakai <clears throat> heard their anguished howls. You rid the forest of the killers, and the spirits of the fallen samurai were grateful. A good story. As if the samurai spirits summoned you here to save their forest. Hmm. <laughs> Also, interesting fact. Ooh. Five percent chance to deal double damage. It's not bad, but I've got better charms right now. Interesting fact. I at the very beginning of the game, I said that Yuna seemed like she could be a Kunoichi or female ninja. Uh, and my Japanese history is not the best, so I had to fig I had to look it up. She can't possibly be a ninja because ninja did not exist in this time period. At all. Which is pretty interesting when you think about it. Yagata Farmstead. You right there, buddy? Fast travel there. I kind of want to know what these points are, so maybe I should go there. Can you do anything new here? There is a gift. Right, let's go here. That's not my horse. So Almost stole that dude's horse. That would have been fucking mean. Do, 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 do. At least it's not that far away. Kashina. A survivor camp. That's not helpful to me. Um, what else we got? This over here. Let's go, Sona. fire in the worst possible location.
Yeah, okay. Punch your wounds, that's how they heal. Oh, you okay? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. There's still more Mongols to kill. Oh god. Oh shit. Terrible for you. Oh my god, what happened? Oh, jeez. And we're done. Clean that off. <laughs> I just love the concept of a sticky bomb just being like, what's that? Oh, fuck! And then they explode. Something about that is inherently hilarious to me. Probably the explosion. I'm a man of simple tastes. Don't crawl through there. God damn it. Is there a ladder? No. Where do you lead me, O oh Firefly? Maybe it is upstairs? Could be. Let's see if we can find some stairs. <sighs> Twitch chat is giving me shit. No, I'm not particularly good against spear holders because... I'm of the opinion that a stance that is specifically good against them should be good at countering them. But apparently it's not. So that's fun. Mongol artifacts. Wrong button. Mongols often appropriate weapons and tools from the Persians and Chinese and improve on them. Mongol riders wield a wide variety of weapons. Often they attach a dagger to their left arms to be used when necessary in close range fighting. Interesting. Okay. Also worth noting, the Mongols fucked up the Middle East. Um, because the Middle, uh, because the Middle East, like Persia and, and places like that, refused to bow to, uh, Genghis Khan, uh, he literally burned Come most here, of them fight. to the ground, set them back hundreds of years, like an asshole. Long guy? Right. Oh. Okay. I'm over here now. Not cool, sir. Oh, 
How are you not dead? Also, other fun facts about Genghis Khan. Um, approximately, I want to say 30, but it could be as high as 50 or as low as 25 percent of Asia is descended from specifically Genghis Khan. Because when they say rape, pillage, and murder, the rape part usually means babies, whether they want them or not. But yeah, they identified the quote-unquote Genghis Khan gene um, only like 15 or 20 years ago. Not Probably not even that long. It's just amazing the stuff that you can find with DNA analysis sometimes. All right, let's go to the mall. What's this guy's problem? You got something to show me, Firefly? Let's go. Ooh, records. Brother, I asked Taro to run day and night to you with this message. Leave all you can. Como da town is ash. The walls of Azamo Bay will not keep these invaders out. They are not pirates or bandits from the battle days. They are worse. They have massive weapons that can ca that cause fire to rain from the sky. We cannot hope to oppose them. Flee north to the foothills. Yeah, gunpowder as a weapon on the battlefield every time it's introduced to any culture consistently fucks it up 100% messes with that culture um with the exception of medieval Europe because they had already embraced archery and archery did the exact same thing just at slightly lower tech Archery destroyed the concept of the knight. Absolutely destroyed it. Because a knight... For a knight to be effective on the battlefield, he needed to have all of his armor. He needed to have a horse. He needed to have weapons. He needed to have people help him put the armor on. He needed to have people to maintain the horse. And he needed to train and constantly and all that stuff. For an archer, you needed a bow, some arrows, and practice. And in a pinch, you could probably skimp out on the practice. It And an archer can destroy a knight long before a knight gets anywhere near them. So archery, as employed by the English, completely devastated the concept of the knight. Um, so the knights tried to counter by using plate mail and... That worked great until guns, and then guns basically fucked that up. Although it's not true that they went, they abandoned plate mail because of guns. They abandoned plate mail because it just wasn't worthwhile anymore. Uh, it hadn't been worthwhile for a while once they got to mechanical uh, crossbows, also known as heavy crossbows. Um, what? All right, where is this guy? 
Once they got to heavy crossbows that could punch through plate without any problem, it didn't really matter anymore. It was more of a status symbol than anything. History is fascinating. Generally, anything that evens the playing field between the quote-unquote elites and the commoners tends to cause massive societal, societal upheaval. Which is cool. Lord Sakai! What? One moment, please. What do you it's want? Important. Yes. What is it? Not out here, my lord. Oh, God. This way. I will stab you. I have the ability to do that. My name is Yoe. This is my shop. Are you trying to sell me something? Oh, no, my lord. Ah, here should be fine. No one's listening. Tell me what this is about. My neighbor, Haruo. He's acting suspicious. He sneaks out of town at sunset. Gone for hours. Comes back at dawn. Last night I followed him. He went to a burnt-out house by the cemetery and met bandits there. Bandits? That can't be good. I'll find this house and learn what they're up to. On very deep. Thank you, Yuri. Of course, my lord. I'm gonna steal your leather. Thank you. Let's get the home by the Azimo Cemetery. I'm not gonna lie, the Japanese language, or at least the Japanese convention of names, puts stresses on syllables that are just weird to me as a non-Japanese speaker. Like, with the main character in this game, I would be inclined, without any prompting, to call him Jin Sakai. But that's incorrect. His name is Jin Sakai. Um, if you wanted to talk about a famous swordsman slash sword maker, I would be imply I would be inclined to say Mazamun or Mazamune, but it's. Uh, Oh, no, that one's correct. Never mind. Stuff like that, though. It's just, it's weird to me, and it's... And I know it's just because of linguistic differences, but, you know. It's interesting, too. I've always been fascinated by languages. I'm not necessarily capable of speaking many of them. I can, I can understand French. I can bumble my way through Latin if I really have to. And that's basically it. I've studied German. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's basically all I got. Huh. Is this it? Well, no, it's Black Powder Palm. Records. Emotaro and his family buried in the Sunset Gate fire. Genzo taken to the ships. Togo burned alive for stealing food. Shinsuke collapsed. S like that name. Shinsuke? It, I could be pronouncing it wrong, but I would say Shinsuke. But it's Shinsuke. The second syllable. Probably. Momiji disappeared before the hour of the dog. Little One Eye disappeared, found one sandal at the herb seller's house. Cool. Ow. But yeah, I'm, I'm a big history buff. One of the things that my wife and I were planning to do before the whole coronavirus thing was right around this time, September-ish, 
we were going to go to uh, the United Kingdom, and we were going to go look at castles. Um, like, there's the the obvious ones. We were going to go look at uh, um, Buckingham Palace and all that stuff. But I specifically want to see like stonework castles. I wanted to go to Scotland, but that would have been too expensive. But then the whole coronavirus thing hit, and hopefully we'll get there someday. Oh, hey, hey, dudes. Oh, hi. No. Oh, wrong dude. Excuse me a moment. But yeah, Lainey has been to England twice. Scotland once. I think. Um, I have never been overseas. I have... I've been to from central to eastern Ontario and from I'm getting further away. No, I'm going the right way. Okay. And the farthest west that I've been in the US is Nevada. Nevada. Sorry, Nevada. And the farthest south I've been is Florida. But that was for Disney World, so I don't know if that really counts. Disney World was a fucking trip, though. Oh, my God. I went when I was 30 for the first time. And it, said his neighbor met bandits here. it was fucking it was magical. I'll have a look around. Old bandages. Not much blood. Minor wounds. Like, they say that Disney World is for kids, and... Lots of ashes. There's definitely some truth to that. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I went there and I was just. I struggle to think of a trip that I had more fun with. Someone's meal, eaten recently. The merchant was right to be suspicious. Need a place to hide. Wait for the merchant's neighbor and his bandit friends to return. <clears throat> Now I have to watch the house. Um, like, we only did a few of the parks. We didn't do all of them. We did Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios. And we also went to Universal Studios. Universal Studios was fun, too. Surprised the Mongols didn't take it. Let's bury it with the rest. Thieves. Need to see where they take things. Keep your eyes open for trouble. How are the others? Hiding. Mongols I'll talk more about that after this. Towns. So far, everyone is safe. Uh, you hear that? Horses! Mongols! Hide! Oh, excuse me. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> we were lucky. They caught poor Tamon out on the road. The 
patrols are getting worse. Must be that samurai. He's got Mongols chasing him all over the prefecture. I hope he kills the bastards. Don't worry, I will. You first. Almost there. The sooner we're off the road, the better. What happened to Tamon? The Mongols impaled him on top of an anthill. Ooh. Scream for an hour. Yeah. Pretty fucked up. Let's hurry and finish this. What are they doing? I hate burying Inari like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. Hurry up! Something's not right. Nothing to find. <sighs> yeah. Inari is safe. That's enough. Don't move. Damn! I knew we'd been followed. Wait. It's the samurai. I'm glad it's you, my lord. That's a strange reaction from a thief. We're not thieves. You drove the Mongols from Azamo Bay. But what if they come back to raid us? We're hiding the most important things from our shrine. Just in case. Sotaro! Kihei! Come quick! Ukon? You shouldn't have left the others. Interesting. The Mongols found the house. Our people are trapped. They will be killed. How many Mongols? I couldn't count them all. Which of you can fight? Me, Kihei. You're with me. You two get in the house and protect your people. With what? Everything you've got. Fists, feet, face. Mongols! They're coming from all sides! Attack! Thank you. Stop that. More coming. We should have run. Oh, okay. Cool. They're not giving up. They keep coming. Can you fucking just stop, please? Not clear? Oh, there's more of them. Gotcha. Kill him, please. Oh, hello. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Thank you. Alright. Yoink. Yoink. Did the bastards get in? No. You kept them away. Not us. It was Lord Sakai. I'm surprised everybody survived. Travelers fleeing the Mongols. People who lost their homes. And you protected them. We tried. You're not hiding those valuables so you could steal them later. No, my lord. We're not trying to get rich. After seeing what the Mongols have done, we only want to help. I'll give you whatever you want. Then help me lead these people to Azamo Bay. 
We'll all be safe there. Ish. Safe ish. Stop! I know bandits when I see them. You're not welcome here. Shut your face. They're with me. These people need shelter. Even the bandits. My lord, they can't be trusted. They fought to defend these people. They hope you hold this town. As you wish, my lord. Open the gate! Let everyone inside! I don't know how to thank you, Lord Sakai. Protect Azamo like you did those people. I promise I will. And make sure they know where to find what you buried when the Mongols are finally gone. You can count on it. Thank you for this chance to prove myself. Hmm. Technique point earned. <laughs> All right, so Boo. All right, Charm of Broken Barriers. <laughs> All right, so just a, a relatively quick overview of places that I've traveled to. I've been to uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, a.k.a. the CN Tower and all of that stuff. Uh, the last time that I was there was about 20 years ago. So I don't know how much it's changed since then, but I would still recommend it probably. I've also been to Ottawa. Ottawa is really cool. Uh, that is the capital of Canada, for anybody that doesn't know. Cape Breton. Cape Breton is gorgeous. That's in Nova Scotia. Um, Prince Edward Island is really nice. Stay away from, like, the, the city. The Charlotte... Uh, the Charlottetown? Charlottetown. Uh, Montreal is a fascinating city. Quebec City can kiss my ass. I hate it. <laughs> um, where else have I been... Boston. Boston is cool. Definitely go to Boston. Georgia is cool. Disney World is awesome. Las Vegas can kiss my ass. The Grand Canyon is great if you're not exceedingly exhausted, which I was. And... Yeah, those are the places that I've been. I've also been to Indianapolis, but I went there for a convention, so I didn't really experience Indianapolis. Um, but it was fun. That's when I went to, uh, to Gen Con for the first time. And the last time, because... Yeah. Uh, Pandemic times are... Pandemic times are weird times, man. I've been fortunate. I haven't been exposed to anybody that, uh... Face me! Anybody that's been exposed to it. But a couple of people on the channel have been exposed to it. And, uh... Ah! They've been fortunate. Anybody else? Glad we had this talk. Bunch of dead bodies. Lots of supplies. Oh, 
All right, so this is yours too. All right, we're gonna fast travel the air. But yeah, Disney World is one of those places where you go and everybody says, you know, you should bring a kid with you because the kid is gonna, the kid's experience is going to heighten your experience, and that is bullshit. I walked so much on the week that we went to Disney World that I shit you not, I had blisters. It's awful. On basically all of my feet. <laughs> um, the final day that we were there, we went to Epcot, and uh, Epcot is There's one so of the bigger dead. parks with a lot of walking. But there's no blood. By the end of it, I what couldn't happened? walk play, because my, my feet. Lord. Hurt so Their much from all the, the blisters. Well these people unknowingly drank from it. A terrible way to die. And I had the, dead. Burning them the most the fun, way to keep even the from in spite of that. But I fear that may not be enough. One What's of the been? sick is missing. I'll yeah. find him. There are footsteps leading away from here. I believe he ran for help. If he's alive, I'll get him to a healer. Otherwise, I'll burn the body. The one thing that I wish that I had done differently at Disney World is when I went to Disney World, I, I was still pretty self-conscious about myself. For the most part, I'm still kind of self-conscious, but uh, I don't care as much what people think. I do my own thing now. I do what I want because it's fun. Um, but at the time, I was still pretty self-conscious. And one of the things that I wanted to do was get pictures of all the Disney princesses that wander around the park. But I thought that was a girly thing to do, so I didn't do it. And now I regret it. I really should have done it. Where am I going? It's like, oh, you're 30 years old and you like Disney princesses? Bitch, I'm 37 years old and I fucking love Disney princesses. Those stories are awesome. I ain't afraid of that shit. There's... I don't understand... Despite the fact that I suck... Well, okay, so here's the deal. I did not understand how to not be socially awkward until I was 24 years old. <laughs> I didn't understand social cues. I didn't understand how to talk to people. I didn't understand how to be myself because I was afraid of being myself. So until I was 24, I tried to be somebody else. Once I got to 24, I realized that I should be myself. And it took until I was 34 to understand how to fucking do that. So, I don't care as much. Like, these days I'm more inclined to say, I like this, as opposed to say, I like this even though. Which is a big distinction. Oh, crap. Pigs! Um, I like this even though is what you say is things like, I like this even though it's normally for girls. I just, nowadays I just say I, I like this without qualifiers. It's very, very difficult. It was very difficult to make that transition, I should say. Um, because there are still people out there that think that it's very much a kanji situation for Persona 4, where it's like, I'm afraid that people are going to think of me I'm as, uh, as not a man by saying those things or saying that I like certain things. Yeah. And ultimately, I don't care what people think. <laughs> well, you're not a man if you like that sort of stuff. Well, if that's what you think, I don't give a shit what you think. I like what I like. At least I'm having fun with it, as opposed to judging people for it. it. Took a long time to get there.
So my advice to you, if you're worried about what people think, people are going to think what they're going to think. But if your happiness is only derived from pleasing other people, and I'm sorry, you've got a long way to go before you're ever going to be happy. Do things because they make you happy, not because it, you, you think that people are going to like you for it. And if that sounds preachy, I apologize. Ooh, haiku. Reflect on strife. Sturdy ground we retreat, shattered but alive. It's a good one. I like that one. I suppose the other side of that whole argument, though, is that I am a very antisocial person. Like, I spent most of the pandemic... There's two sides to this story, actually. I spent most of the pandemic just at home. I didn't care. I was talking to people online, whatevs. You know how it is. What was that noise? Really? So, whether I, whether I have one friend or no friends or a lot of friends or few friends, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. I'm not a social person. I don't I don't thrive on social stuff. So I have the luxury of saying I don't care what people think. The other side of that is at 24, I met my wife. At 27, we got married. That doesn't sound right. At 23, I met her. Yeah, 20. I met her when I was 23. We got married when I was 27. And say what you want about marriage, whether you think it's some kind of weird social institution or whatever, but knowing that there's somebody that wants to be with you for the rest of your life because of who you are does an amazing thing for your self-confidence. <laughs> It really does. Like, in the end, I was just like, I don't care what you think. Somebody loves me. So there's that. It's not always easy. Not bad. Tired of this rain. Hmm. 
So basically, self-help with Dave. Love yourself. Find someone that loves you. In that order, preferably. And don't give two shits what people think about you. Other than that, I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, I still struggle with depression a lot. A lot, a lot. So, you know, I'm not exactly a paragon of good times. It's got too real. Let's talk more about samurai and killing dudes. Wee, I'm a samurai. Why is it always fucking night? God damn it. Yuzo should be in the cemetery. Is there a cricket here? Also, hold on. Lament of the store. Good. You're here. You ready to steal some food for us? Sure. Is this everyone? Just the men who can fight worth a damn. The rest are too hungry or sick. Let's hope we're enough to raid the fort. There's a better chance of seeing cherry blossoms in winter than getting that food. There's always a way. Preferably one that doesn't kill half my men. The Tale of Ryuzo. Which means dragon something. I don't know what Zo means. My scout's back. Come on. Don't tell me what to do. Inside, and a signal at the top of the tower. If they call reinforcements from the bay, we'll be trapped. They'll cut us to pieces. Find a place to watch for me. Once I destroy their signal, attack. They'll kill you. If they do, avenge me. And take their food. That's <laughs> not funny. It's a little funny. Watch the tower for my signal. If you say so. Looks like there's an opening over here. Squeeze them. You ain't seen nothing. See you around. Oh, really wanted to kick him off. Oh, well. Signal the others. They'll see me like the brazier. It's 
time, Yuzo. Stab the shit out of you. I really need you to stop, sir. Thank you. Ow, motherfucker. Even if we don't find the food, surely they have some food. Emma? Do you need sticky bombs, though? If I need those, I can get the better. More of those, I can get the better. Shut up, I can words. Let's get your men something to eat. Where's all the food? I didn't see any in the tower. Did you find anything? Just a stack of Mongol papers on a dead officer. Let me see. You read Mongolian? If it's in Chinese, I can make out some of it. Since when? Since I had to read Sun Tzu. Hmm. This was only a temporary depot. They're taking everything. Offshore. The boats are in the bay. We'll never get out to them. We got in here. <laughs> You're crazy. Like a fox. What did you have in mind? Let's see what we're up against. Geez, here I was thinking that was the end of that quest. Hmm. have small boats on the beach. We could steal one, but we'd have to cut through their army. Too many barriers and archers. A frontal attack would be suicide. I want my men far away from the enemy's line. Put your archers on that cliff. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal a boat. Flaming arrow might set off those explosives. That will get their attention. But we need them to look away from the beach. All right, men. They don't know we took the fort, so they'll be waiting for reinforcements that aren't coming. Keep them busy long enough for us to steal a boat. Then retreat into the forest. Look for my torch. That's your signal to attack. Let's find a way down to the beach. You heard, Yuzo. Let's move. We won't let you down. Watching you fight back there reminded me of Lord Nagao's tournament. You did whatever it took to win. It was a competition. You fought just as hard. Did I? What are you getting at? Nothing. Just remembering our duel. We'll talk about this later. If we survive. Your men should be in position. Light the torch. Now. 
Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Do they come through. Look at that fire. Jesus, this place is on fire. Excuse me, sir. I'm sure there'll be more on the boat. We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Can't believe no one saw us. <laughs> Too busy watching the fire. We're going quietly. Look around for the food. Nothing. I never knew our duo bothered you so much. Now you do. Uh, no luck. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different directions. It was a long time. No food here. Any sign of food? Not here. Maybe on the next ship. Hear that? Sounds like four or five guys. No way around. Surprise them. Oh, Reasons. hey. Nice Doing that now? We have to move fast. These guys will fire quickly. Always were the better shots. I hope you kept your blade shot. More Mongols. Take them. Boom. Too easy. You search here. I'll take the other. Be careful. When am I not careful? Right, when I'm murdering hundreds of dudes on their own fucking ships. You have a point. Is that a bear? You really not hear what happened? I mean, you deserve that, really. Did Hi. Oh. 
Oh shit! Brutal, yet effective. What's in here? Mongol war plans. On order of the Khan, send 1,000 men north to the Toyotama region. Maintain supply lines across the Izuhara region. Command assignments follow. Ba uh, Batar, Azumo, Komatsu prefectures, Nugo Nugai, Ariaki, Tsutsu prefecture, Temuge, Yarikawa prefecture, Altan, Otsuna prefecture, Bartu, Kin prefecture, and Dogshin, Dogshin, Jogaku. These look like battle plans. Better go find your Yuzo. Here, you. What? Oh god. What happened? Okay. I helped you, bear. See that guy? That guy wants to kill you. He's the one that locked you up. Alright, Winnie the Pooh. Oh god. Oh my god! This bear is kicking my ass. He's stronger than anything else I've fought. Stop it! Stupid! The bear killed me. He's the bad outfits. Better go find your result. See if we can't do this right. Dude, 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 dude. It's fine, Bear. It's fine. This is sporting. I don't feel good about it. Powder bombs, sticky bombs. Did you find the Omnoms? Ooh, okay, hello. All the food they've stolen from us. Oh shit. that mongo if you hadn't shown up sure did you see how big he was that's where all our food went you're <laughs> uh -oh. burning our food Mizo, we have to go can we swim i have to the fire is spreading jump Sight. They're still hunting us. That's a good hiding spot ahead. I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty handed. We'll find another way. But how many will I lose before then? I found something that might help Mongol battle plans. Do they show supply lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems, and I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And 
and I'll need you at Castle Canada. You'll have me. Don't let them see you coming. Just like you. <laughs> Company of Wolves. to find Yuna. All right, techniques. I'm going to max out water. Because quite frankly, that sounds hilariously awesome. Boop. The iron hook. So let's go to Komatsu Forge. We can also upgrade some of the stuff that we have. I should see if Yuna has any news. We need to get more resolve too. Hmm. Are you a blacksmith? I can help improve your blades, my lord. You are a swordsmith. Ooh. can't tell how it's different. It looks like the pattern on the steel changes a bit. Hard to tell, but I do like having more damage. You like the finish. Thank you. Apologies. You don't have what we need to do the work. Your blade will keep us safe. Wait, does this start another quest? It does start another quest. I just want to go for the upgrades. All right. Oh god, I'm fine. Did he just jump out of a window? Shh. It's Lord Sakai. Dude's fucking crazy, man. He just jumps out of fucking windows. Well, that was weird. No, don't jump on it. It's broken. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, you're Lord Sakai. It's fine, sir. What I'm looking for is a... Armorer. And that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. I'm tired of the rain. The constant, insistent rain. I work metals, woods, and cloth. For you. Boop. Fully upgraded. Goodbye. Nice. May your hunts be successful. Well, they probably won't be unsuccessful. They might be a little bit ridiculous, but they... Taken, my lord? Your it's protection good. is my duty. So I could get this up to three, which gets a massive increase to health. Takes most of my supplies, though. Does give me Horns of the Damned, though. That's pretty helpful. Uh, 
That gives me the cool hat. That gives me more damage. Let's do that. Much better protection. Indeed. Now I'm wearing a hat. All right. I don't want to start another quest because we've been going for about an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm going to stop the episode here. But next time on Character Select, we're going to get an iron hook, which should be our climbing tool, I would imagine. So we'll see how that goes. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And, uh... Yeah. Wow. My brain just completely farted on that statement. Jesus.